Well, it is rough along I-40. Here is I-40 at Tucumcari, and this is one of the areas throughout the night tonight that will continue to be a major league problem. And we've seen the roads end up snow-packed and icy here. They are making some progress in portions of this part of the state, though. So it's not completely impassable here, but it is definitely a difficult go, and we encourage you not even to test this. This is a shot from Santa Rosa, where earlier this afternoon the roads were largely wet, but as the sun has gone down and the snow has maintained its Intensity, snow packed and icy conditions here, and obviously with road closures along I 40, it's just not worth even trying to get on I 40 at this point or I 25. Here in the metro area, we are in that sweet spot right now, which will run through the evening hours, which is the best combination of cold air and moisture over especially the Albuquerque metro area. If you remember earlier on this afternoon, especially along the valley floor, we were shade too warm to accumulate the snow. We've had snow throughout most of the city throughout most of the day. But it's up in the foothills where we're seeing most of the accumulating snow at this point. Some reports up there, five to six inches of snow up around the tramway area right now. Now, the actual core of the storm is now pushed well to our east, but along the back side of this thing, we continue to see the cold air and moisture in place. That's what happens when you get a really powerful low pressure system. Most of the other storms we've had to this point haven't been this strong, so they haven't had this wraparound component to them over the top and back side of the storm. Well, this one does because this thing has really got a lot of strength to it, so we'll continue to see the snow across the east. And at least for the next few hours here in the metro area as well. Blizzard warnings continue across the northeast until 5 a.m. Winter storm warnings across southeastern sections and up through the East Mountains and Northern Mountains, even western sections throughout the night tonight. But the snow will end west to east across the area throughout the night tonight. So we will start to see things calm down. Places like Grants that have been hammered by snow have definitely seen the worst of it. 64 from essentially Raton to Clayton is closed. I 25 closed from basically Santa Fe to the the Colorado state line and then I 40 from Louisiana to the Texas state line closed as well. So please don't mess with any of this. Even across the north, where we have roads that are still open, like 38 and 434, these are very tricky situations up here as well. And the snow will continue to fly, so it's only going to get worse. Here in the metro, part of the reason we haven't seen a lot of accumulating snow, that temperature, a shade too warm, that will continue to come down tonight. So we'll see, especially grassy surfaces along the valley floor could grab an inch or two. We're not going to see huge numbers along the valley floor, though. For for snow because again we've been so warm but across the northeast this is where the cold air is and this is where a lot of the accumulating snow is at this point core of the storm you can now see it over the Texas panhandle and lifting continually to the north here so we'll essentially see that snow which is still sitting in central sections migrate east tonight and then out of the state overnight so that's why we have a few more hours here in the metro area before things dissipate and this storm just gets too far away to affect us anymore tomorrow a few snow showers out there it's not Totally going to clear out, but we're not going to see significant accumulations. A weather disturbance goes to our south on Wednesday, and then we watch another one coming in for Thursday. This one is not as strong, but it does have a lot of cold air with it. So we will watch this as it plunges down into the state probably on Thursday night, looking more and more like a mountain snowstorm, good for six inches of snow at the resorts, especially for very light powder as well. So we'll see what ends up happening with that, but it is at least coming through the state. So we do need to pay some attention to that. Across the Four corners, not much going on with this storm, especially if you get up around Durango and Pagosa Springs. And tomorrow, partly cloudy, cool conditions, temperatures in the 30s. You guys will have a better shot with the next storm on Thursday. That one will favor the San Juans of southwest Colorado and up into the San Juans of northern New Mexico as well. But for Farmington, for the next couple of days, partly cloudy skies. Don't we watch that storm for Thursday? South and west, partly cloudy. A spot mix will be possible out there into tomorrow, but it's nothing that's going to have the kind of impact that this storm did. Catron County reported two feet of snow from this storm. South and east, temperatures here for the most part, 30s and 40s tomorrow. We'll continue with the snow showers tonight. The farther north you go, places like Fort Sumner, Clovis have a better shot than Carlsbad and Hobbs do. Meanwhile, as you get up into the northeast, snow tonight, and then that slowly gives way to partly cloudy skies tomorrow. Some spot snow will remain a possibility with temperatures hanging right around 30 degrees. Meanwhile, the northern mountains, we continue, especially along the east slopes, with snow tonight. Angel Fire, Black Lake, Rosiata going to be more affected by this storm than areas like, say, Taos will be. Down into the East Mountains, partly cloudy, scattered snow will continue tomorrow. And then, really, even tonight, we're continuing to see that snow fly. And Boy, it's going to be a rough go on 14 and really I-40 once they open it up as well. So please be careful there. Mid-30s for tomorrow. So it will be a cold day with partly sunny skies tomorrow with an isolated snow shower possible. 
And then we get into Thursday where we could see a shower or two. But, Dean, next two to three, maybe four hours, best chance for more snow in the metro.